question for you. Do you know what kids, maybe your kids, are into these days? Well, a dad became so alarmed by the risky things some kids are doing, he decided to start a website to alert other parents. Oh gosh, I'm scared. We asked San Diego mom Stacy Dent to check out the website Careful Parents. What she saw surprised her. The duct tape challenge. I haven't heard a lot of these actually to tell you the truth. That challenge left a Washington teenager okay. seriously hurt when he slammed his head on concrete. Kids are lighting themselves on fire and eating strange things. All reasons for Dad John Michaels to create careful parents. The idea came from watching the Slender Man case in Wisconsin, when two teens stabbed a classmate 19 times to appease a fictional online character. What I was thinking was, um, you know, how do parents keep up with these uh, all the things that their kids could be into today? Parents themselves can add risky trends they notice to this site. You can find everything from what kids are listening to to the internet challenges they may be tempted to try. The paper thin waist challenge, and it's crazy. Our reality as adults is not the reality of young people today because things have changed so much. And Stacy should know. She's not only a mom, she's also principal of Horton Elementary. She says giving her own kids a strong sense of self can help them make smarter choices. We kind of have to be open-minded, and I hope I do that, you know to where we can have open conversations. And I mean, sometimes things make you cringe and you're like, oh, oh God, am I ready for this? But ready or not, you know, here they come. Her son Kylan knows kids who have tried these challenges. I'm not even sure I can speak on why they do it sometimes because it baffles me as well. The website is a way to use the internet to fight how fast the internet can spread risky behavior. What has surprised you the most? It's been uh, really eye-opening to see uh, really the stupidity of, what, of what's out there and, and how dangerous those things can be. Now, parents can join the site free, and that will allow you to talk to other parents who have really helpful insights in some cases. I asked John if he's worried kids could actually get ideas from the site. He says they're usually way mm -hmm. ahead of parents and that this can actually get kids and parents talking. We have a link on 10news.com. Just click on the red TV button. It's a great tool because, as you mentioned, it is hard to keep up, but parents are educating parents here, and, you know, if, if everybody's communicating, that seems to be key. And it's helpful, too, because if you're starting to go through something, and someone else, maybe in a different state, has already been through mm -hmm. it, they can really give you some good advice. Yeah, 